Well, hi friends, Shanna Kramer here with another 10 minute painting. And today's painting is uh, going to be a great blue Huron that I am planning to do in 10 minutes. Here is my full page. I'm going to trim down the bird so the bird will fit approximately here. And uh, here we go. So now this I think is going to be a little bit more challenging for a couple of reasons today. One, well, I'm painting outside. <laughs> what's, so what's so tough about that, right? Well, try it sometime. Yeah. I love painting outside. I really do. But I've not tried painting outside and recording it before. Of course it can be done. People do it all the time. Uh, I just never got, have never done it before myself. So that's my challenge today. Let's see, so that tail comes right about so, right about so. Ooh, another thing different is I am actually recording this today instead, instead of doing this live. I'm still going to try to do it in 10 minutes, um, but the main difference here is Uh, okay, so what I'm trying to do is I plan to be full-time RV living within the next year and a half. Um, so my goal is to continue. Hmm. Oh, right up here. That's what I meant. Is to continue doing paintings online daily and continue doing online lessons. I just have to be able to do it from my RV. So today I am actually sitting outside my RV to do this painting. <laughs> Best of luck. Let's see how it goes. I fully expect that by the time we're doing this full time that I'll be able to have a room or a space inside the RV where I'll be able to uh, do, do my stuff, do my thing, do my art. But for the time being, Outside is fine. It's a beautiful day today. The only downside today is there are some bugs, 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 but that's okay. They're not so bad yet. Okay, am I done? I need a, definitely a skinnier beak. And I think it comes way down here a little further. What do you think? Comes out. Well, I guess I can't erase from canvas, so we're just gonna give it a try. Letter buck, let's do it. Okay, moving on. I'll start with some white. Today is plein air day. I have a plein air group that I usually go and paint with on Thursday afternoons, Thursday evenings, and I am not there today, so instead I'm going to paint from here. They'll just have to understand. <laughs> okay, I wonder if I should have just grabbed a bigger brush. You know what? I'm just going to do that. I don't like spending all the time futzing with a tiny brush. So, let's do this again. With a big brush. Hmm, how nice. See, it's way easier. There. Yeah, it might be a little too high. Let's undo it. Okay, had I taken a little more time to get my sketch a little more accurate, that probably would have made a huge difference, but it defeats the purpose of a 10 minute painting. The whole point is so that I can get better at drawing and painting in a very short time. I have to do things right because I can't do them twice. And it looks like my white is fading to gray, but that's just because it's a uh, pencil. It's, it's picking up that pencil. But I suppose I should make some gray. All right, hold on. Hmm. Here's my question for you. 
Are great blue Hurons actually blue? Or are they actually just a cool gray? Because when I look at that bird, I see cool gray. I do not see blue. Which makes me question everything. <laughs> I wish I was kidding, but... So you know how colorblind people will see um, grays instead of whatever color it is? Or a grayish shade of that color? And so I started wondering I, when these birds are called blue herons and they're clearly not blue, is that actually just a shade of blue that I can't see? I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> All right, I need one more color here. So it does look like a cool gray. I'll definitely say that it looks like a cool gray, but I don't think it looks like, um, I don't think it looks blue. If I was going to mix that gray, I would definitely add blue to it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move on. Now I've got some black, some white, so I can get a regular gray. And right down here is where it gets really dark. Oh, darker than that. More black. Okay. If I get really quiet, can you hear the birds behind me? <laughs> I just thought of, if, you know, if I'm, I'm recording this instead of doing it live, I can actually add in bird sounds if I wanted to. If the microphone doesn't pick them up, that'd be weird, but could be done. Okay, this guy's also got a little bit of gray next to his eye. Huh, what do you think? I think there's more gray down here. Maybe it's blue-gray. Maybe I should start taking 10-minute paintings a little more seriously. This looks heinous, like a child did it. Well, carry on. Okay, so we've got some dark little swishy colors on the bottom and this is going to be reflections so I'm not overly worried about the detail. Again, I'm going to pick up some white. Touch of blue. What about blue dogs? Are blue dogs actually blue? I've never seen a blue dog, ever. They're called blue dogs, but they're not blue. They're gray. All right, moving on. I'm over it. Get some a little more gray in there. How's that? Looking good? Looking good. Now that beak. Holy cow, we've got a bit of a yellow beak up there. And there's also some gray on the head. And now that I'm going to have, let's see what time it is. 8.38, okay. I'll quit talking and keep moving. But I kind of want to add a little bit of background to this just because, well, because I can. Well, that was a little heavy on the yellow. Oh, well. Let's try to get some of that black and blue in there. Let's do an eye a little bit better because the eye should be round, right? At least a little bit round. Yeah. All right. Is there a tuft of hair on this, on this guy's head? Let's check out the original. Uh, no. No, there isn't. Also, his eye is yellow. I wonder if I can pull that off. Whoop! <laughs> okay, close enough. And the gray is right along the very top of its head. Ooh, is that gray or is that blue? Well, let's add some white to it and forget about it. No need to obsess. So that's kind of why I want to do more of a background color, because this is really starting to blend. Okay. Onward. Let's do some happy green. It is now 9 minutes, 51 seconds, so I'm going to call this one done for 10 minutes. And now I'm going to keep going because I think there needs to be some background in here. Well, 
I'm all white. There we are, a little bit of white. Another benefit to adding backgrounds is you get to refine the outside shape of whatever it is that you drew. Cover up your pencil marks too if you just scroll it on there like I did. Try to keep this horizontal and it can look like it's a green reflection in the water or something. Okay, a little more green. So let's see, where's my shape going bad? It's going bad right about there. Also, mostly with these 10-minute paintings, I never go back and fix them, so to take time to go back and fix them is kind of nice. Yes, defeats the purpose. I get it. I know. Still nice. Okay, a little more green. And let's try, how about a nice brown? So I have this uh, burnt sienna. You know, it's a little hard to see the plate here with the original in the way, but let's see, let's try some sienna. And this is gonna be a little bit on the water. And then we'll take a little green and white, maybe a little blue, what the heck, all right? We're just gonna make some waves in here. These are our little reflections. Gonna need some white. So I think what I'm going to do today is, uh, since I've gone through all the effort of setting up an outdoor studio, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it going and keep on painting and just keep right on doing what I'm doing until I can't do it anymore because I can see now that the sun is changing. Weird, right? Outside, how can that be? And uh, so now I'm kind of looking for a spot that I either need to move or go inside. I'm avoiding going inside because the lighting in there is horrendous. It's yellow RV lighting for crying out loud. And I don't have my any new lighting set up yet, so. Plus, I can hear a lot, a lot of my neighbors are coming out for the weekend now, too. Okay, I think I have to quit there. Is there anything I can do up by the face to make it look a little less weird? But without adding any more new colors. There, I'll just refine that head a little bit, that shape. Okay, what do you think? Is it starting to look like a goose or a great blue Huron? Mm, let's see if we can't chop down that nose a little. That nose is mighty goosey. Yeah, Hurons definitely have more of a, a shape. <laughs> what do you call that? Well, I don't know. Huron shape. There, they have a Huron shape. Okay, that's it. Now for real I'm calling it. This is really, really, really done. Um, we are now at 14 minutes in. And have to be done. So onward. Thanks for watching.